Hi guys, so today we're going to do a segment on what's in my kitchen. Okay, I'm going to keep this extremely specific to what I've learned over the years. Uh, just after finishing my workout and picking fresh produce from my garden. Yes, this is fresh. Doesn't it look amazing? Goes into my smoothie. Um, before giving you a tour of my kitchen, I'm just going to have my collagen shake, which is from Oziva. I can't tell you how good this stuff is. Well, my journey with Oziva started uh, when I was looking for a plant-based collagen and it really turns out really difficult to find a plant-based collagen. So I was really happy to find an Indian brand producing plant-based collagen and it has been part of my di diet ever since. Um, including collagen into my diet has really made so much of a difference to my energy levels and skin and hair, <laughs> which is really important for us, I know that. So this is an everyday staple. As are the big range of Aziva products that I have included into my daily routine. So all the magic happens on the inside. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm a bit of a show off, so I'll stock my fridge up for you. Let's see what we have. Um, ever since I turned plant-based, I depend a lot on tofu. Like tofu, I have it once a day for sure. It's a great source of protein. A lot of leafy greens. Leafy greens, I have it twice a day almost. You know, once in a smoothie, once as part of a salad. Um, it, I can't tell you how many vitamins are in there. Like there's vitamin C, A, K, E, potassium, magnesium, iron, calcium. So someone's telling you that you can't get protein and iron and calcium from a plant-based diet. They're definitely wrong because I think I'm getting all of it and the best of it. Um, well, what else? Kombucha, great probiotic, um, along with sauerkraut, which is also a great probiotic. And, well, what else? Lots of fruits and um, yes, lots of chocolates. That's the weakness there. Homemade chutneys. You can't live without it in a South Indian home. Idli, sambar, chutneys, must, must, must. Um, Gluten-free bread. What else? What else do you want to see in... Yeah, okay. More good stuff. Vegan ice cream. <laughs> Vegan ice cream. Then in my smoothie every day, frozen banana, frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries. All this goes into my smoothies along with the leafy greens. And... I also love matcha, so this is like matcha, cashew butter. So breakfast is usually a fully packed smoothie uh, or oats and almond milk uh, with uh, frozen fruit. Flaxseed and chia seed goes into my smoothie every day. Um, great source of omega-3. When you're on a plant-based diet, this is your source of omega-3. Lunch is um, tofu with a lot of leafy greens um, and also a lot of chickpeas and kidney beans and um, I, I, I thought that would be really difficult uh, to go from mostly eating non-vegetarian food to a completely plant-based diet. I thought it would be difficult but now I it's just become a part of me and I feel more energetic and lighter and happier in some way <laughs> so I think plant-based is a great decision that I made last year and I'm definitely sticking by it so that was what's in my fridge and um, also try drinking uh, water from a copper pot I do not have to tell you the innumerable benefits of drinking water from a copper pot uh, Ayurveda says so uh, be it from boosting your immune system to killing harmful bacteria but well, we all need an immune boost right now so try and drink from a copper pot and uh, I hope you liked this episode of what's in my kitchen